let's go, boy. I, I mean, love this movie. I don't care uh, what any of you say. This movie is a piece of crap. Me and, me and D gorgeous. Had, all right. Me and D, me and D had. Crap. All right. With you two, I mean, with you. All right. With that being said, welcome back, everybody, to the final instance of Franchise Month. We're talking Alien Covenant, and with us again is Duke. Hi, and I have words to say about this movie. I think we and it's not going to be nice words. I you think did we did a all lot. Of, we did a lot. First, of, did like, first of all, dude, we all got words to say about this movie. I'm just going to sum it up real quick. It is a beautiful turd. Oh, yep. that's oh, if you want the one word gorgeous. for it. It's a beautiful turd. And, oh my god! Oh. oh my god! Look, look. I do not joke with people when I do when I say that. I I like bad movies. I I I live for them. I live for them. When I know a movie's turning into shit, it's like <laughs> there's bad entertaining, and then there's kidding. bad, and me there's and nothing Chris, good about it. When me and Chris are in the movie theater, when we watch some of the movies together, uh, and uh, there, there's been a couple of instances where we knew the movie was getting bad. When Chris like that, me, I did chill with that type shit. You know, like oh shit, look, what he about to do? Side note, side or note. just straight up, one of the uh, one of the older critics <laughs> will be around there like. What the fuck? It, that just lights everybody up. Side, side note, um, side, side note, you get it's, it's like um, Triple X, The Return of Xander Cage, where me and D were acting a fool, and other black folks in the movie were chiming along with us, and the one white guy wanted to be all, "Excuse me, guys, we're trying to watch." And I'm like, "Nigga, it's Triple X. What do you think this is? Come on, man. This is not yeah, cool. Cool. like this, this is not, is not cool. going. This is this not is Citizen not Kane." Cool. Oh, this because I oh, because I was this excited been, to see Ice Cube um, back. My yeah. bad, dude. Jesus. It's not exactly. I mean, it's not like you know, some like uh, the Godfather or you know, some like Black Dynamite or something like that. No, this is that. It that's this is the. No, you know what? I would take Return of the Cage. I think I would take that over this. Because they knew oh, what Triple X was. No, no. 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 They knew Seriously. what it was. No. Triple X Duke. knows what it is. It's hey, a Duke. dumb action movie. Hey, Duke. It's Duke. dumb. Duke. Alien came from something high up. Duke. Can you do not? No, no. Am I wrong? Am I lying? Duke. No, you're not wrong. Duke. What are you saying? Duke. 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 No, 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 no. I got this, gentleman. Duke. Go ahead. Please stop asking for your wishes to come from Calypso and Twisted Metal. Please. <laughs> Can you please stop doing that? I mean, it, benef I it benefits nobody, okay? It benefits nobody. This it is, does this this uh, does nothing positive for mankind, okay? Alien, it only it only hurts us. So please stop. Alien Covenant hinders us all, sir. It hinders us all. Alien Covenant took like if we talked about the scientists and the dumb stuff they did. And granted, a lot of the dumb stuff was popping off because of David spiking dude's drink and it just kind of snowballed into all the other shit. So, okay, fine. Snowball effect. Stupid shit was happening. Don't get it twisted. But, like, there was a snowball effect. Yeah, this God, man, like, off God, rip. Like, off God, rip. How do you land on a planet, don't have no fucking mask on or nothing, and as soon as they go old inside the cave and start breathing in the spores, I was like, oh, you're dead. Oh, you're dead. No, it was because before that. Dead. They were... There was a dude. We'll, we'll get into the movie because I'm like. First of all, no, no, there is no need to go beat for the. Oh, beat no, for no, no, on no, this. no, 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 no. Other one, than one, establishing one part, David's one, fucking 180 one, twin from America. No, that's about one, it. One part in particular that I thought was uh, hilarious was you had the uh, who, the future captain say, "We don't know. Like, does not like does any of this not sound like it's too good to be true for you?" And D put that damn sock down. <laughs> I am so not dealing with this tonight. Lispy J, J yeah, and like and, and 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 shout out to and shout out to Gaddafi right now. Telling me <laughs> to say this thing is telling me to say it like this movie is the Sarah J of this franchise. Wow, I the mean, one, there is the not. One. I, I can't. No, no, he calls it the Sarah J. I this will say that. Personally, I do not like Sarah J. The person I like the most is the lovely Jenna Jackney. We cannot, we cannot deny her both <laughs> body and all of her body of work. Sir, sir, also, sir. I will say a strong number two is... <laughs> Sir Jada Jack me does Sir Sir Jada Jack me does not look like Triple H. So uh no. let's not start with that. Mm -mm. Oh, and by the way, we gotta give a shout out to James Franco. 
who pretty much rock climbed and fell asleep, and that was let it. me tell you something. The about this something. Came in, I got mean, his money, and bounced. No, first of all, first bro, of all, first of all, bro. seeing seeing James Franco rock climbing is hilarious because it just goes to show you number one when he's rock climbing and sending the freaking video. I love how he's going. Hey, you see this? This is much better. Like this is much better than this I'm alien sorry. movie. It's like, it's like, you hurry up and get that here, man. Awesome. Oh, this is awesome. And, Wish you were. And, All right. And, hey, and hold up. Wait, money. hold up, D. 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 Hold up, hold up, hold up, D. Like, as he's saying all this shit, I'm going, wow, James is actually having a much better time than the audience who went to go see this. You know, he probably was, he was probably filming that other movie when they made that scene. Oh, he yeah. Do shit. Oh, in fact, uh, if you want to go in further, I remember there was a preview of this. I think it aired somewhere else. They had James Franco, like he was like sick or something. And he said, "Well, this is gonna be a great trip." And yeah, it was just, a prolude. You know, it was a pro. It was yeah. that and the chick from the from from um, Prometheus. Noemi replaces up. Uh, wow, I keep fucking her name up. But her character, it was two proludes that was supposed to be like the middle story between Prometheus and Alien Covenant. And you, I forgot which movie it premiered in front of. But I remember the time I was like, I'm not watching that fucking movie just to see this shit. I'm nah, I wait for it to hit YouTube. I don't give a shit. You know what? Um, but and this you know, and honestly, I would say this was a you know what YouTube, man. I, I was surprised this wasn't for free. It probably is free. Well, it's free on Amazon Prime, I think. Yeah, okay. Prime, yeah. No, no, that is it's um this movie. I, I am like amazed how many stupid characters there are in this movie. <laughs> everybody, hey, dude, dude, everybody, every. <laughs> Real quick though, hey Chris, um, I will not let nobody. I will. We're not going to mention names who were with us that night, but we had a lovely time. Very lovely time. Very, lovely very time. lovely time. The reason why this is one of the rare occasions where we was gearing up to said event. I'm not going to say it, and we were doing a whole lot of stuff, and just so happens. Hey, we're all going to be at the premiere. There were a couple of critics there, and yada, yada, yada. We sat down, had a wonderful time riffing this movie from about 25 minutes into the end. We riffed this whole movie. Six black people in the, in the middle of there generating all these laughs. We were doing everything. The best part we did is when David opened up the hatch and me and Chris. I like how, I like how David. We were loud. David did the shit. Everybody that, like... around is cracking up. This is one of the most fun times I ever had in the movie theater with Chris. And I got to say, Chris, this is seeing you get amped up. Sit here and go, go, Power Rangers. <laughs> one of the greatest things I have ever seen. David, so I'm like, dude, David, there, there's lying, and then there's stone cold lying, knowing that you're full of shit. This motherfucker sat there and tells the new crew of the Covenant, hey, so uh, me and old girl, you know, we got to this planet and we crash landed. We accidentally spilled some chemicals and it killed everything. Me so and D sit, me, me and D sitting right. up there like, this motherfucker is lying. Ain't no fucking way. Even better. Remember all you build up the answers to the aliens and all that stuff? It's gone. It's gone. Meanwhile, when he says all that, I'm watching this shit and I'm going, hmm, stop the cap. Because... Because he is like he is full on lying. I'm like, dude, this thing is lying through his teeth. I get it. He's artificial intelligence, so you can't really tell. You know, he can't emote. So, yeah. <laughs> like, so Billy Crudup is the only one that picks up on it when he kills that proto alien. He's like, hey, uh, hey, David. Um, so uh, cut the shit. I got this gun on you, so you're gonna have to fucking tell, or I put bullets in you. Which one do you want? It. I remember this, Chris, and I remember I said it loud, and somebody shushed, shushed us from a, from far away. I said, and I quote, as they walked on that planet, where the fuck are the bugs in the in the in the animals? I mm-hmm. said that loudest day <laughs> because I was like, where the fuck are the bugs and the animals? Because I was really like, white people get off that planet. Because <laughs> yeah. that's oh, no, even that's, better. That's, yeah, dress, can like, I just like, go right back to the captain who just said, that, Chris, uh, what did, 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 "See, this is Duke, Duke." How do you write characters who have no cognitive, have no wherewithal? If this was John Madden and it was awareness, it will be at a straight up 40. Like, I don't know how dumb. 
The captain. Yeah, dude, dude, we, 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 yeah the cap. What were you about to say, dude, with the captain? Dude. The captain. I. I'm. I'm like, the one. The thirty minutes oh, Jesus. in. I was like, this guy should not. Like, oh, no one likes me because I'm a person of faith. I'm like, no, motherfucker. No one likes you because you're the dumbest motherfucker here. He's pulling the same shit, old girl. The first atheist. one did. Who's the atheist that wrote these two Christian characters in these last two films? Christians are not at How is it that when Christians make movies, they don't make Christians right? And when atheists makes, make Christians a movie, they don't make them right. I don't understand. They, I don't get it. They triple down. So They're like, confusing. oh. Just don't write them like that. Oh, they triple down on that shit. shit. They huh? triple down on it like, yo, what the f- what? They won't let me captain because I'm a man of faith. Okay. Stop the cap. But even more, by, by the way, is, is by the way, show blue black geek. So you mean to tell me that the ACLU just gave up <laughs> in 2021? <laughs> They had, they already I mean, gave it up. Two, I mean, in two thousand, uh, 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 twenty one, uh, twenty one thousand. You just mean to tell me the ACL? You just gave up? What good on my face, bro. But, but yeah, that, it, but yeah. When you look at the, uh, the like, well, we have to get back to work, and I'm like, dude, like multiple people died, including one of their captain. They can't mourn. You just like rush them back to work. I'm like, what nah, you get doing? your ass back to work. <laughs> and then even All better right, yeah, when this go. whole planet. Like, oh, this new planet. Oh, let's just go there. Like, isn't this too good to be true? Like, too good to be true. No, what does no, that doesn't mean? Matter. It doesn't matter. We were, Science. We were, what are you talking we about? Were a, it was get, like, first of all, it was a distress signal. Like, why not respond to it? Let's go see what it's about. Like, there Harris. might be, like, there might be something there. Harris, imagine if you will, all, all of us enter in a car and we're driving to fuck it. I don't know, Annapolis, right? And all of a sudden, you get a uh, all of a sudden you're on Facebook and you get an ad for a lobster joint all the way in St. Mary's County and you all the way like deep in St. Mary's County. I'm talking like I'm talking like the shore. You know what I mean? And you're like, let's go down there. It's it's better. But we're going over here, nigga. Nah, man. Nah, 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 nah. Let's go down there. Nah, yeah. folks. Mm-hmm. Because we're going over there. No, we don't need to go down there. But they say it is, nigga. You just, you don't know what anything is over there. Why are you going to stray off path to use up resources? Use up resources to go to a planet. A man named Tennessee. Like, little, a man named Tennessee the sits there and says he he's just like nah, bro. Damn it, bride. <laughs> AKA, let's make this guy into the purest country boy and Ever. everything else. Yes. The only one with common God. sense that's like, yeah, we shouldn't really go down there, guys. We got a bunch of people in stasis up here, so why why are we going down there again? Like, what's, what's uh, going oh, on? I, huh? 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 I don't, I, what? So, why are we, like, why are we doing this? My man, like, look, those two guys, are, like, literally inhaled the spores. That white woman ain't shit for locking that black chick in that fucking quarantine thing. You know what? You know what? That I was that was that was the most dick move ever. It's like let her out, let uh, her out, first, then lock no, the door. No, what no, 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 Chris, Chris. I mean, listen, I, I get where you come from, I really do. But listen, after going through a little thing called COVID, sir, 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 she was she was ready to get out of there before it nope. got stupid. Nope, you can let her out. Nope, she wasn't affected. <laughs> Nope. Oh, and by the way, nope. again, oh, I'm, not is, that, would they, I'm not running. I'm not running. I am not. The, I am not running that risk. So, nope. But I'm still stuck in the fact that they, if they would have had spacesuits, they wouldn't be in this situation. Yeah, they wouldn't. In the they first wouldn't place. be in this situation. Hey, listen, I mean, listen I dude, dude, they wouldn't be. Then, they like, wouldn't be in the situation. Who cares like, if air doesn't like dude, they would not be in the situation. But please understand, sir, that. They went out. Th- they went out there. Did what they did. They went out there, raw dog in life, like exploring this fucking planet. Coming back, and homegirl had the nerve when shit got real in that operating room to be like, to be like, hold on, D. To be like, let me out, let me out. No, no, no. See, you forgot that when we went to, uh, we went to Rigal Seven, and shit got real. <laughs> like y'all, like you asked me to do the same thing. I let it slide the last time. I am not letting this shit happen again. It was such a dick. Room. Was like, oh. All right, you know what? All right, you want to know one thing? You want to know one thing that probably all seven needs to be a real thing. <laughs> no, you, 
Yes, but you know what really, really pissed off a uh, a uh, a uh, a uh, uh, fucking Neil deGrasse Tyson, the soldier walking away. Right there, here's Neil deGrasse Tyson. See, that's a no no for several <laughs> goddamn reasons. <laughs> Number one. Why would you spark that in an atmosphere? In an atmosphere. You no idea will react to anything. Ooh, this movie, this movie is literally, is literally like a Trump, like a Trump person if they wrote what they thought scientists act like. And th- and th- scientists th- don't th- act like scientists. Christians don't act like Christians. And the android is killing it in this movie yo and yo and yeah. here's the thing walter and walter and david i like the dichotomy of both because it literally is yin and yang way to hit it on the nail there really scott yin and yang good and evil <laughs> yeah and by the, the way uh, post that, uh, can we go back uh, to the whole thing with the alien coming out with his back and everything i just love not the back not the front I just, the back. I, yeah, wait I wait wait the hold fact on that, that the girl and everything else went all crazy She's trying to kill him with a shotgun, but actually just shoots herself, uh, just destroys the <laughs> ship. And by the way, that is the only transport ship they have. I'm like, this is a settler's thing. You got know, everybody dominating with one ship that is going, okay, let's go down one at a time, one at a time. Dude, my thing what is this. Of- why does she think that she could actually take that shit off a shotgun? Wait, wait. Why do you just keep it locked in there? Hold on. Uh, Gaddafi. Chris, uh, blow this up for me, please. He- what? Gaddafi, Which one? the last one, not that one, one before it, one my name. Yeah. Yeah. In the middle <laughs> of my rant, he tells me to go right for Shane Black. I mean, if that's if Shane Black allows black people to actually uh, write we, for him. So, I mean, you know. Gaddafi, are we? Mm, okay, there's that. Uh, and I like Gaddafi, Shane Black. <laughs> Gaddafi, are you, asking, are you asking for miracles, sir? <laughs> I mean, I, I would like to. Hey, you know what? Here's something that we need to address, guys. Like, Duke, it goes to your point. Duke, do you understand that over 1,500 black people come across hysterical white bitches that get them killed? This on a regular of that. On a regular. All. All she had to do. All she had to do, you know what she did. <laughs> the whole entire time, bro. Why? <laughs> Somebody get care. I mean, I, look, they had look, no the business. Fact, they, they, no, but, they, they had no business being on that. But the way, the the, but place. the way, but the way David does what most people in his position does when they're lying, and he comes in to to save the day. You know, like I saved you from the alien, and I'm like, you motherfucker, you started this, like you purposely did this shit, like you, come on, dog, like who, who you fooling? You who knew you he was up. Sir? First of all, first of all, you knew he was up to some shit when the alien didn't attack him. And, yeah, uh, breathe know, with the nostrils of a horse and it'll, it'll stay with you forever. I'm like, what the fuck? First, that's not a horse. And who said that shit? <laughs> that ain't true. Yeah, I mean, people got that horse get horse dude, kick Billy their Crudup, ass every time they come close. Like, dude, uh, Billy Crudup had the gun pointed to him, and and I like how Dave was like, "Hey, don't kill it." I'm like, "Uh, like, yeah, move, kill move. it. <laughs> get out of the way." He's like, no, don't kill it. We're communicating. I'm like, <laughs> no, no. I'm like, do you, do you not see that? It just murdered one of ours. This is like what yo, you, did, do you know Her what happened? Is you... floating in a puddle. In fact, I would have been the one dude that'd be like, uh, here's a video of you getting your head killed by an engineer. I think we know where this is gonna lead to, sir. Just mm. but this just is saying, I'm probably... like... <laughs> but I, I want to bring up something. Mm-hmm. Uh again, going off of David being the most obvious villain i mean dude we're talking gary oldman lost in space obvious villain like walter where, is good clearly good like, hearted as i don't know what yes yes, yeah. yes that image that image that face no! that horrified no like this is when, again hey, hey, hey listen, he's trying hey, hey listen i'm gonna say listen. this the man is trying no 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 dude dude so what this image right here is when the director tells you to emote without emoting it really is Michael, complete, you, complete with Michael, the laser sight. 
can, can, can you do what they guys like? Well, I'll try. <laughs> you know the sick part about this? The, so the proto-alien apparently, um, as it eats and devours people, it transforms into the alien that we know and love from uh, Alien Lore, which I thought was hilarious because I was like, Xenomorph, Xenomorph. <laughs> uh, <laughs> which I thought was hilarious because I was like, so this is how we get to Xenomorph. Uh, okay. So, um, so, 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 basically the Xenomorph is a combination of those big old Urian people and probably, <laughs> and probably a piece of uh, uh, Mr. Shaw. Oh, yeah, by the way, I really do enjoy hearing my last name in the in the Aliens franchise. I kind of actually do. Anyway. Oh. Also, also Numi's uh, character, apparently she get, you might as well say David probably killed her ass off screen. No, no, she popped, no, I got to oh, say something oh. with a hot take. She, she, uh, she, uh, tripped and fell and what have you, and just, you know, knocked herself, uh, killed herself because let me be honest, she was so stupid and Prometheus. This movie is 10 times as stupid as this, that of, uh, of Prometheus. So at this point, I think I'll say that that's my canon. Nah. Duke. David didn't kill her. She, she killed herself doing something stupid. <laughs> no, she didn't. No, she didn't do. And I can, I, listen, I have proof. See, what happened with um, with her character was she simply <laughs> slipped, fell, and landed on a face hugger that David had <laughs> laid out in the middle of the room. Oh, and, and when, Kyle and, 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 when and, and hold on. Put, put that clip right there. It's, it's, this is perfect right away. The, the what? Right there. Which you one? look at the comment right there, the front, right there, just like this, Night Trap one. The closest <laughs> right to a Night Trap remake, stop it. I mean, Gaddafi, it a, pick, no, no. pick your own adventure. At this point, but, I think it, there's no lies there. Yeah. Yeah, they are the Amazing Bots, if you look at it from this movie. I mean, because, I mean, um, David but, did. But, hold I mean, on, but let, yeah, hold on, but let me, let, let me uh, finish my point. So, she lands on the face hugger, and face hugger has enough time to do its thing. Like in the first Alien movie, you know, she decides to, it takes hours. you know, it, it takes hours and, you know, she goes to have breakfast. Shit's ha like, shit seems to be cool. And the next thing you know, she's feeling like absolute shit. And the Xenomorph bursts out of her chest. And hold on. And what what David does is he takes the remains of her and lays it across that table. Because we see that later in this movie. I'm like, oh. So you just you've straight up experiment. Like you've been doing experiments. You straight up desecrated a whole corpse. Got you. I mean, okay, he killed. A, I mean, he killed a whole you, ass. He genocided a whole fucking. You planet. genocided like, a whole planet using the fucking krill from Gears of War because you saw when the clouds got dark and <laughs> no <those> fucking <laughs> engineers looked up like, what's that? Why is it so dark I, all nah, of a sudden? Nah. You know what I think would happen. This is what happened. Gaddafi, can you please stop trying to make this movie better than what it is by saying that this movie is so bad, Master P wouldn't make it in the 90s? What are you talking about? He would definitely not watch this movie. Anyway, <laughs> uh oh, no, the part that got me where they flew over there, no, in my head canon, this is what happened. They flew over there. Don't you see it? It is all beautiful. Yes. It is. Yes. It is beautiful. <laughs> That's what I got. Simple as that. I'm going to rip your jaw off later. I'm just uh, oh hold on, hold on, Chris. Look, Eris, look, Eris. I'm going to rip your jaw off later. Is that right? Is that right? <laughs> now we did now wait, did, wait, well, wait, hold on. <laughs> wait, D. <and> I'm just <laughs> like if you would like to know the top, like if you would like to know what day it is, it is a Tuesday on the year of our Lord. <laughs> oh, like, sorry, the year of your Lord, because yeah. David's an atheist. Like, well, you see, uh, Walter isn't, so you know that's, that's, Yeah, Walter isn't. <laughs> Uh, again, again, really Scott just hits it on the nail on the dichotomy. It's like Walter is good, David isn't. And I'm like, well, of course. And here's the fucked up part, right? The movie tries to trick you into thinking, well, maybe Walter prevailed and beat David up. And and all of a sudden, when it gets to the end, and you see when you see fucking Walter put old girl in stasis, and when then the girl all of a sudden has that fucking uh the, the, the usual suspect fucking did it realization that. That's not Walter. This is, David. This no! is, this is all, so, so, so there was a plot point in the beginning of the movie because, you know, James Franco was like, look, dude, look, I'll do one scene. So the whole thing was that James Franco and her were going to go build a log cabin on this new planet where there's just fresh air, no government. And let's look at it. We only got one, two, two black people here so far. And by the time, look, and by the time our children get old enough, they'll be kind of diluted. We don't got to worry about that. The point is, everything is going to be awesome here. Ah, oh, 
That's what they were going to do. They were going to build a log cabin, and that never happened. So they had a whole bunch of logs up there, yada, 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 blah, 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 blah. And finally at the end, <laughs> she asked Walter, Walter, will you help me build the log cabin? Because she told Walter about the log cabin because he knew I about you. Link. Yeah, I heard about you. He's like, yeah, man, I heard about your nigga. Yeah, heard y'all was going, you know, go out there, have a farm, raise some kids and shit, you know. That, you know, that's deep, man. I'm sorry. You know, you know what I mean? That early in the movie. So she acts like, are you going to help me build a log cabin? He's sitting there like. By the no, 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 D. The log cabin. By the lake. Beep. No. See you in five no, years. No. <laughs> hey, baby, hey, baby, hey, 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 think about this. Look, this is lovely. This is the last thing you're going to see. <laughs> oh, dude, you might as well say he did that shit because when he sits there and pop, he does the fucking prison move of vomiting out fucking two eggs out of his mouth. I'm like, did you just shove it up your ass, your robot ass, and then just, my no, man, uh, my man uh, said that. No, I no, when you said shove it up your robot ass, he you do. No, I swallowed it. Why would I put it in my anus? <laughs> you keistered it, sir. You keistered it. When he, oh, first, uh, first of all, by the way, I no, just first, love first the back. He told me. Uh, oh, oh. Wait, hold on. When he said, like, when he said, don't let the bed, uh, the bed bugs bite, I'm going to tuck the children in. I'm like, oh, no, he didn't. He, he managed to smuggle two, two, two xenomorph eggs into stasis. And just all you need to do is just add water and it's all good. But uh, he, just, he but put yeah, it into stasis. Like, he put it in stasis. Even further, this, the, don't the, let... the, the movie, oh, by the way, the movie, um, you're don't just, um, let... you're, you had them talk with a uh, great guy Pierce and him are talking. And I'm like, yeah, this is where the majority of the budget went. Because yeah, Guy it's Pierce like, talking again about the, about the sanctity of life. Yo, yo, I will say this: don't let the big buttons bite. Is that that that's the that's that's rock and you, know, you, you, you know, you know what that reminds me of. <laughs> it remind, this that, that whole thing reminded me of the ending to uh, <clears throat> it's a movie that came out a couple of years ago called Life. They had uh, Ryan Reynolds, Jake Gyllenhaal. Um, and a bunch of other people. And it was about them finding this microorganism from Mars that come to find out. Oh, it's, yeah, I so see that. the end. The, the movie is good and suspenseful. Fucked up ending. Spoilers. What ends up happening was they decide, all right, we're gonna lead. I'm gonna sacrifice myself to the creature, and I'm just gonna jettison myself out into the depths of space, and it's away from Earth. Right. <clears throat> The movie confuses you because both life pods jettison. One goes to Earth, one goes out in space. So you're like, okay, somber ending, you know, Jake Lynn's all is out in space and the other girl's there. Cut to old girl. Oh, she's jettisoned out into the fucking space. Jake Gyllenhaal's with the creature landing on Earth. One of these things is not like the other. And they're landing into the China Sea. And Jake Gyllenhaal, because the way the creature operates is like a symbiote. If you open that fucking pot up, it's going to latch onto one human and it goes. it's just going to spread like wildfire. Speaking... Which, by the way, I like the fact that it just uh, it was on this dude, the black par- uh, you know, the black dude who was paralyzed leg for some reason. Yeah, it was on his leg for no fucking reason. It's like, I'm like, like, did we just miss the scene? <laughs> and, and that's the thing with David. He's busting out these two xenomorph eggs and puts in the stasis. So I'm like, so David, you're just gonna put that shit in stasis and just fuck everybody up when they wake up? Is that is that the plan? Is, oh I mean... no, no, no. <laughs> I have a long plan. You will be amazed what you make when you can't go to yeah, sleep until, for until, ten until... years and you're thinking of how to do it to humans. <clears throat> hold, hey, on, man, hold on, hold on, Chris, Chris, and then you're gonna give me another seven years to when we get over to that planet. Ooh. It was one. No, it's oh, one, no, 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 no. It's actually one point thirty six. Ah, one point thirty six. Yes. Yeah. Remember, Years? remember, remember when he revealed himself to be uh, not Walter. That, yeah. That he said yes. When we get to what is it? Uh, like fucking Oni guy six or whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah. like he said, when we get there, we'll, we should reach it in one point thirty six years. <sighs> Yeah, ba- mm-hmm. damn near one and a half years. Mm. It's like, yeah, oh, shit. and, and, and by the way, um, no, what are you say? I was gonna say that <laughs> we look at the entire <laughs> the, the, the um, 
But you know, I do uh, love uh, the one thing I do love it is um, that um, the gestation period of these aliens. Oh, it's it used quick. To be like, oh, oh man, just kind of like a couple weeks or whatever, and then like, oh, it's up like like a, a couple of. Uh, well, I mean, okay. these are spores. <laughs> so let me get this shit straight. You walk into your room, you see David talking to one of these aliens. You kill the alien. You see your friend's head swimming in the pool. Pretty good effect there. I actually kind of yeah, like it is really good effect. Then, did, did you follow him down to a basket <laughs> full of eggs? And he oh. says, mm. and he says to you, it's only missing one ingredient. And you walk over to the egg and you he goes, It's fine. No, no, no. No, D, the egg just simply does. And you as soon say, as it does that, he says, you do this. Well, look I inside. See like well, something to, look something well, to I see. see. You actually talked to that alien. Now you got all these eggs down here. I think I can trust you. No, no, no. Oh! No, no, D. No, no. First of all, he goes full villain mode by saying something to see. It's perfectly safe, I assure you. I would have put a bullet in fucking David if any had a problem with him. I'm like, like, yeah. Does, does anybody? You. Does anybody else not trust this guy? I would have unloaded the full clip straight. on David. I know you're a cyber doll, but these bullets, you're eating them. I don't give but a fuck. Then again, <clears throat> but a then again, but then again, the no, no, problem I, no, is, I, no, no, Duke. First of all, I loaded, I load space hollow points. Okay. <laughs> oh, and by the <laughs> not way, not regular um, space, space hollow points. But you know what? Like, but that's like, the problem is the captain is an idiot. So I mean that's the problem, right? And there. that's He's the sick idiot. part because he he did the smart thing, kill the proto alien, and I'm like, okay, kill David, kill David, kill David. Uh, but no, no, let's keep following the the, the psychopathic android. Because as soon as let's he, he had the laser, and then the uh, let's oh. look at the egg that just opened up. Ooh, what's gonna happen? I don't know. Duke, he <laughs> had the laser sight on him, and David. It's not like David can matrix dodge them shits. So it's like, come on, Those little fuckers are fast, man. No, no, but I'm talking, I'm talking about David. I ain't talking about the alien. Like the alien, I thought was going to matrix dodge the bullets, but apparently it's no, just no, said, no, 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 no. I'm talking, no, 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 no. I'm talking about, I'm no, I'm talking about the the face hugger. Oh no, 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 fuck that. No, I'm talking about before David led him to the face huggers. I'm like, oh, yeah. as soon as he had the laser sight of David, shoot him, shoot him. It's like just shoot him, shoot him, just shoot him and get it over with. Not a lot of time, not. Sh- you know what? You know what? We can save, we can save ourselves, and we can save ourselves an hour here if you just shoot him now. You went for a movie with niggas with guns. It took a long time for them to finally shoot one, didn't it? The first yeah, gun the- that was fired no. off was fired off into the damn, to the damn ball gasoline and blew up the whole damn ship. I still am just shocked about that whole scene. I'm like, wow, how do you make your characters? Supposedly, mm. these are experienced. Soldiers or whatever, their experience knowing how well, to dude, do these there was tools. Two, um, two experienced um, soldiers, to be fair, those are the ones wait. that inhaled the spores that got killed. So there's your soldiers gone. Hey, hey D, D, <laughs> hey D, you want to know the you want to know the best part about that scene with old girl shooting at the uh, they're trying to shoot <laughs> the freaking alien inside that first ship, and she <laughs> and she shot the gas tank and the whole thing blew up. I said to myself. Upon seeing that scene, holy shit, she just Eddie Caputo'd herself. <laughs> <laughs> Shout outs to Child's Play. <laughs> yeah. Like, yo. hey, hey, like, yo. hey. No, because because the alien literally ran out, and I swear you could hear the laugh tr- like the laugh track from Chucky as it rolled away, like you can't hurt me. <laughs> like, but guys, but guys, don't you love it? Don't you don't you love it? <laughs> don't you love don't you love it, guys? That uh uh our boy. <laughs> oh, the alien so rolls out on like burning on fire. But let's, real, survive. But soon, but soon, let's be real about this. It turned into the only thing missing was the the, the only thing missing was the the They went for drama and horror, but they came out. Comedy. As it's soon as comedy. he as soon as she locked the fucking uh Carmen a go go inside that fucking room, it turned into a Biddy Hill sketch. And I'm I like, like Carmen had no Negro skills or just hysterically get back, <laughs> girl, 
Girl, you know Bro, it. Ain't gonna Badee, run. Badee, you, Badee, Badee. Up, that is her back. white woman side that, no, no, no. that came out stand, in that you moment. Said that. Standing back. You stand, said that. First of all, stand, no, first of all, posting yourself up against the wall and doing this shit, holding the knife. Guys, I'm like, guys, that, that, guys, that, that, guys, that doesn't guys, do anything. Guys, that doesn't that was, do anything. That, that, that You're just the, pissing it the, off. Guys, can you that, please that, not that, that do, the, hold on, Chris? Can, like, can you please not piss it off? Why are you pointing your knife at it? Like, attack it. Do something. Don't that, sit there in terror. Guys, uh, attack the damn guys, thing. Guys, that is her white woman side that came out. Now, if it was... Why are you now, keep blaming this on her? that was... Now, why now, you keep blaming this on her caucus side? Because if that was Sanaa Lathan, Sanaa Lathan would have fucking MacGyver some shit and killed the motherfucker and then fucking killed the white woman and it'd been done. Let's, we just know this. Hey, just, let's be real. Let's be real. Let's, let's be real. Sanaa right, Lathan... No, quick. like, real quick, D. Sanaa Lathan would have gone after that, uh, that, that little mini alien with a scalpel and kept it moving. Okay. Yeah, and she would have killed fucking Susan afterwards, like you bitch, bam, and shivered her, and then it'd be like, yeah, so she she, she, she slipped. Is, so what you're trying to tell me is Zendaya better stay around Peter Parker because yeah, she's exactly. done, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's done. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, she's like, hold like, on, it's wait a minute. Finished. See, I got wait, I got to respond to Gaddafi on this one here. Uh, the post he just threw up just now. I got to, I got to respond. No, like go ahead and blow it up. Blow it up. I mean, yeah, you gotta, that's, but that's yeah. Shelly Duvall, though. That's... Like he clear, no, he's in that she clearly learned self defense from Shelly Duvall, The Shining. First of all, Shelly Duvall actually got away from Jack. Exactly. exactly. All right. <laughs> She exactly. got away. Exactly. Well, technically, exactly. Te- so hold on. If you were to put the scores between Shelly Duvall and, and like at this chick, <laughs> Shelly Duvall wins. That is one oh. Look, she wins. All right, now it's time she to win. Two oh. She, oh. Because hold on, she wins. Hold on, D. She wins two and oh. You want to know why? Number one, she actually got damage. She got battle damage off of like off of Jack Nicholson. Number two, she actually got away from him. Hold on. Number Let's three. Go. Hold on. Number three. She used the uh she used the maze. She used the maze at the overlook to confuse this nigga long enough so that she and her son could hop in the freaking like, like hop like hop in the damn snowplow and escape. That's 3 0. Also, number four. Pick another like, one for me, sir. Also, Go ahead, dude. Number four errors. Number four errors. And I, let's not forget, and this is documented. Every day she walked on set, Stanley Cooper DDT to just destroy them. <laughs> <laughs> Not, I swear he did not like her. I mean, hey, yo, really there's a whole bunch of people on, on Twitter were talking about it not too long about it, man. It was, yeah, yeah. Like, but we got to talk about that when we're in dark side no, of but, but here's the kick. Yeah, we got to talk about that when we, like, when we do the shine. And, and listen, when we do the shine, we'll, uh, we'll, like, guys, we'll get into that. But guys, oh, yeah, but, um, did you love Juicy Smollett, Raw Dog and a White Chicken, and boom, Xenomorph in the fucking head? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I thought Xenomorph was going to yep. join in. That, that, that could have been a three way, Duke. We could have got three way. Uh, 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 Duke, Duke, Duke. First of all, that scene only occurred in uh, in Alien Covenant, the uh, Axel Braun triple uh, X parody. The Axel Braun triple X parody, nigga. Yes. I mean, we could have got a three way, but, you know, GC Smollett thought Raw Dog and the Chick was the right move until the Chick was like, hey, I feel something. I think isn't that big. What? <laughs> no, 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 no. no, 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 no. You, you did that really wrong, Chris. First of all, I didn't even know your dick could turn like a go in that angle. Go in that angle while sta- like go in that angle while standing up. No, he was like, oh, by the way, no, the alien no, that came no, from no. me. Since nobody's gonna make the joke, D will. This is what actually. This is what happened. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, Steve, take it. Okay, we gotta talk about this. You gotta stop doing it. I'm sorry. He's still on my mind. <laughs> but I'm trying to start a new on a new planet so we can start a family so there won't be no gay people. I'm trying to be straight for you, baby. <laughs> hey, babe, hey, babe. Hey, babe. You want this subway over here? It's great. Speaking of which, <laughs> one little story about this, too. This happened weeks, weeks after what happened. So he was up there. It was and still and fresh. And, and, we, and there was, and, and here's the fuck. Oh, part. and if it's the, oh, the funny part was. When this movie dropped, right, there were still a lot of people that were supporting them. Like, oh, maybe what happened did happen. As soon as this movie dropped a week later, oh, it wasn't true. Oh, oh, one God. Funniest, oh, God. One of the funniest <laughs> things ever. And, about and this by movie, the way, I'm sorry. There's a, there's a part in this movie where, uh, yeah, where they're talking, it's Tennessee and the girl and Juicy. And they're all sitting there talking. And he tell, and it's like, he, they was like, I don't know, man. This ain't the right thing to do. And like the three things he says is like this. I lean over to Chris. You know. 
<laughs> this is exactly what he told the Chicago PD. <laughs> it's you. Ha- I I'm gonna put, I'm gonna make a video about it, or I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna put an Instagram and all that shit. But holy crap, the the lines he says in that part, I got I look for it. Anyway, go ahead. Anyway. <laughs> well, I will say this: uh, when Alien killed him uh, in the shower, I bet his ass didn't think that at uh, five o'clock on a Wednesday that this was the type of head he was getting. Man. Let's just think about it. We done made it off a planet. I'm about to clap cheeks in a shower. Now, D, yes, rank clapping cheeks in a shower. I give it about a three. Out of what? <laughs> out of ten. I was about oh, to say, I was like, don't say three out of five. That's Ooh. nice as shit. I'm like, that is the, oh, are you X right now, Adam? Sorry. Uh, uh, give Chris, this bang Chris, three. That is three. Chris, out of five. No, 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 no. We're not going to go X play. Chris, that is clearly a three out of a can of beans. Look, I'm going to be real okay. with you. I'm going to be real with you. And like, at least in these opinions, having sex in the shower, only people that can fuck in the shower are porn stars. That's the only thing. My, t- my tall who ass, I'm going to look at a chick like you lost your fucking mind. It's already enough that you got this hot ass water fucking blaring. You want me to fuck you too? Nah. Sorry. <laughs> I'm like, hey, no, hey, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, Chris, make it worse. Nah. Make it worse. Nah. See, hold on. Make, make, hey, Chris, make the situation wor- uh, worse for yourself and say hey look we're gonna play a game the first one of us to slip and fall in this bitch <laughs> yeah i ain't gonna be the one <laughs> fuck no oh hey by the way do you, I like, like alien, and just so you, um... and just so you know that i'm gonna win i got the grips on my feet <laughs> speaking of all that other stuff man how did the fact that the alien which was uh cut off the the the, the face hunger was cut off from the guy Acid and on his somehow, face. <laughs> acid on his face, they still got the uh, egg in there. I'm like, how? Well, I mean, I, once it gets on your face, it's already in there. It's I mean, done. you know, I mean. But, I but wait, what about Andy oh, Ray? Actually, that got on Ridley's face, and she just like, oh, no. Well, it didn't Ridley. latch on. It didn't attach fully. It didn't latch. First yes, of all, it, it did. did. It didn't. It did. No, no, no. It, no, it didn't. Look, 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 look. It clearly pumped two times. And, eh, you no. know, come on. It got to the face. The part where it makes it official is when the tail wraps around the throat. Yeah. 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 When the tail is wrapped around the throat, it's a wrap. Once it gets you know, the kung I like fu how, grip. I like how. Yeah, the kung fu grip. You know what, guys? I like how that the, you know, us going through all these movies have made us experts in xenomorphs. At this point. <laughs> <laughs> you know what this is about us. It's not the, it's about the only thing. It's not the only thing that we could take away from it because let's be real. Let's be really, really real here. There's only two alien movies, Alien and Aliens. All I'm saying you is, lying, all I'm saying yeah. is that the xenomorphs exist in real life. They need to call us four for this as like <laughs> specialists. <laughs> Don't call, don't call, don't call Steve <laughs> over in Iowa. No, <laughs> yes. but, but this Val, we heard, we heard you and the three black geeks. What is your thoughts about these xenomorphs that are coming off? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, if somebody was to ask the three of us, and, and if you needed my opinion, I would simply say, uh, hold on, I'm getting this kerosene, and I got, uh, I got two more cases of gasoline over here. Uh, hey, Chris, uh, bring the grenades. And uh D, do you got that flamethrower? Cool. All right, where they at? Uh uh actually like, like, <laughs> like oh yeah, oh, oh oh yeah, that's the other thing too. I need masks and I also need uh, uh space helmets as well and, and, and as much protective gear that uh that we can get. Don't give me that cheap shit from uh from F9, all right? Don't exactly. do that. Uh, we ain't doing that shit. Hey, now, hey, listen hey. now, like now, we got an extermination job that we're gonna handle. Y'all don't need to study Stay shit. The fuck you, away. <laughs> like just get out of the way. Sir, before we do anything, D, don't do it. Shut up. Before we do anything, D would like to make a statement. We will not do this until Larry Hoover and Big Beach is out of jail <laughs> and free. Also, all the charges that have been put against the, the, the high minister, Louis Farrakhan, will be, a, be against them. <laughs> We also want the United States to recognize the lynching, the lynch, yeah, the lynch laws, man. Yeah, yeah, recognize that. And also, I would also, uh, I would also reparations. I, no, and then I add, and I would add, simply add, before we go into do the job, that please do not let this list of demands distract you from the fact that Hector is going to be is going to be running three Honda engines or spoon engines. Hold on, Chris. Let me go ahead and get it out. On top of that, he came into Harry's and he ordered three T sixty six turbos with NOS. And a Motex system exhaust. Fucking Noel G is over on the TV, like, what the fuck did I gotta do with this shit? <laughs> Everything. Uh, 
There's everything. there is, and by the way, I still, you know what? You know what the funny thing is, like kind of good uh, Gaffey saying this is a plot to Adam. I also think the people with characters in the Adam Sandler movie weren't this stupid. Even the most I mean, dumbest yeah, movie. They are magically stupid in this movie, aren't they? Yes, every single one. First, they have the captain who doesn't want them to mourn their lo- the losses of their crew. <laughs> Get your then ass you have the well, cap- To be fair, hold up. Before you continue, dude, to be fair, that's every boss in America now. Oh, your grandmother died. That's uh, it's unfortunate. When you come back uh, to work. We have some oh, problems. Then, we have some yeah, problems, then, then oh, Imagine after you that, got that real condescending boss that show up there. Tawana, listen to me. I understand what happened. He was 16. I know, girl. <laughs> but I'm going to need you to show up at work next week. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I hate you. Uh, but yes. Uh... <laughs> I laugh because it hurts. <laughs> That's why That's so I laugh. True. That that ca- yeah, that really captain was standing cold. But continue, dude. Continue. But yes, Woo. and then you had them go to this alien planet, which they have no idea what type of things they're on. No spacesuits whatsoever. Then you had that little alien thing that running around that you know they, the the uh, the uh, space <laughs> ca- you know, the the resident Karen came out with a <laughs> shotgun, shot you know missed the gun, mul- missed the alien multiple times, and then shot the you know the uh, one of those uh, yellow. Red things like in the video the games. Exploding the exploding canister from video games. Can- no. <laughs> yeah. Like Both! conveniently, and conveniently gone. placed. Conveniently placed yes. exploding canister. Oh, I think was all like out in the open. I think Missile was press R2 to lock on. <laughs> and yep, it's gone. <laughs> there you have. I love the fact that she activated aimbot and still I mean, missed. Aimbot, bro. <laughs> and still. Yo. Failed. Still missed. You know, you know, hey, hey, dude, don't just remind, don't that whole thing where her on the motherfucking thing remind you of a quick time mission in like a PS2 game, though? Don't it? <laughs> oh, you know, no. Like a really I, I, bad PS2 game. It's the quick Something uh, like the Spider Man because of a PS2 game when you miss it, he just falls out like this. What? There it is. No, it's, it's the like, quick time. Like, it's boom. the quick. T- no, it's actually the quick time event from Resident Evil Five when you're trying to when you're trying to attack Wesker. No, 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 no sir. No, I no, have seven no. minutes. No. One of the yeah, most frustrating minutes. ones. No, no, no. I'm top. No, 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 the one inside the uh, the aircraft oh, carrier. No, no, oh no, guys, not that one. Let's talk about on professional mode when Sheva has to shoot the chains when Chris is getting fucking dragged like a black man behind the yeah. motorcycle people. Yes. <laughs> and Sheva's just taking her time like, careful, careful. And if you miss the button press, ah, sorry, Chris, you got stabbed. Sheva's going to solve <laughs> this game alone. I'm going to need you and Chris. I need you and oh, God. I need you and Eris to do a retrospect on like two of the Resident Evil games are really going. Five and six of the two. I'm going to need both of y'all to like, like, that was the one that was on. That was, that was beautiful. Go into it. Because me and Eris put so many hours into five and especially six on the, on the campaign co-op and we had fun with how stupid and ridiculous so shit is. It was so dumb. It's so dumb. And you need somebody to play through the ridiculous shit. I swear to God, it was hilarious. (laughs) I can't wait for us to go in depth on (laughs) <laughs> on Resident Evil 4. The memories in 4 is ridiculous. I just played through 4 on the, on the Switch and the PS3. It is fucking hilarious the amount I, of stuff that I remember from that. Hey, Kurt, hey Chris, I just went through the uh, the story mode when, because Donovan, for whatever reason, he's been interested in story modes of games he's not going to play in. Which, hey, that's kind of cool. At least you know the lore. But we look at it, I'm like, yep, I remember that part. I remember that part. If we got to the end, I was like, Hey, Ashley, I understand you went through a lot. Are you trying to bang Leon for real? I, I always mean, assume that. And, and here's the sick part. You, hey, you uh, 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 look, D, D, hold on. Let me ask you a question. It's like this. I'm a D, grown me, man now. No, no, so no, D, like... D, no. D, let me ask you a question. <laughs> let me just, let me, let's me let just keep it real. Come on. Be real. Yes, sir. You spent the better part of the last day and a half uh, in, in, in Eastern Europe. I don't know. Uh, I say week and a half. It wasn't case. even a week. I thought it was he a got, week. No, I'm talking about the time that you spent from the time you got off of, like, by the time off you the got plane out of Eastern Europe. Yeah, no, no, right. no, 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 not even off the plane. By the time you got, I'm talking about from the time you got out of the cop car 
oh ran, yeah, yeah, yeah and ran into the first dude in that cabin no to sleep. the time to the time you escaped that two minute time limit to, like on a freaking jet ski from sea that dude. time that was yes yes, sir. yes on the sea dude. but that, that was, was but hold on but hold on, but hold on hold on see you like i said you spent the better part of a day and a half right a day and a half uh saving this girl and be real you thought you were gonna die and you've been saved uh like you get saved by the special agent super secret agent leon s leon scott kennedy and i, I mean real talk number one you saved uh, you saved me from having a parasite uh take over me and you saved me from getting killed countless times you saved me from these things called the regenerators which are pure nightmare fuel you, you saved me from a lot of shit I, I am obligated to give up said draws for this man. <laughs> said drawers. But yeah, uh, here's the same part. Uh, here's the same yeah. part. If Alien Covenant back, was a game, back if, to now, yeah, ahead, uh, if, 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 Alien now if Alien Covenant was a game, you could speed run this shit in like 30 minutes. Oh, <laughs> you yes, you could. could. Yes, you, you could. really could. This is an hour game if you haven't fun. I, I would use the dip man oh, yeah. glitch in a heartbeat. This is a one hour game if you haven't fun. Give me an option. You know what the option would have kicked in for me? As soon as Billy crowd up killing Elliot, <clears throat> you have a choice. Do you kill David or do you let him go? Kill David. The credits. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, are you serious? Like, first, <laughs> no, no, no. Wait, hold on. You kill David. You kill David, right? And you save yourself an hour. Exactly. You just you save you yourself just, an hour. Hold on. You save yourself an hour, but you still got to deal with some other shit because it's the video game, and we got to make it different. Uh, different compared to the movie. Uh, there's one more alien that's that's stowed away on the ship, right? And it, oh, now hold on, hold on. Here's the dumb part. Here's the really, really good dumb part. It's hiding in one of the uh, the the freaking stasis chambers. It was there that entire time. It was there the whole time. David put it there. It there the whole time. <laughs> David put it there. David put it there after Walter tried to use Brother Rock. And oh, D, Chris, we have our very first Brother Rock fail. I just realized that. One armed Walter tried to use Brother Rock and failed. And, and failed massively. In fact, he failed so badly that David not only killed him, but he has to cut, he cut his own arm off. Just to, to keep the uh, gimmick going. Which I know, no right? One, when I saw, I was like, when that happened, I'm like, nope, no. Nope. David took, killed him. David Let killed him. And that Brother was Brother Rock it. will be back on Three Black Geeks. Brother Rock <laughs> lost the streak. Yeah, yes. <laughs> this the streak. This, 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 this is over. Under, this is the Undertaker streak over. Me and D was just sitting there like, oh my god, hey, oh dude. my god. But D got a question. <laughs> yeah, this is Michael Fisher that did it. So how do you feel about it? Because D said on the last podcast that I would let Michael hit. I'm cool with it, actually. <laughs> well, we'll see, guys. You see, guys. Actually, no, I'm not. Real talk in this instance. But, but guys, but guys, as we as we've all agreed on, uh, Michael Fassman to put Prometheus on his back, and he had to do it again in this movie. Except he acted against himself in order to make it fair <laughs> for everybody. He's like, "Hey, I will only do this if you let me act against myself." Can I say, by the way, uh, the fight scene between Michael Fassbender and himself was uh, beautiful. You know what? Like I said, I this, like the choreography. This is why I said this movie is a bad good movie because much like the like Prometheus, it does what the same the same thing. Brings up a lot of good ideas, bring up a whole lot of good ideas. And when you really think about it in the dumb retrospect of aliens, there's the Ripley timeline, there's Promet there's the Prometheus timeline, and then there's whatever the hell AVP is, and then there's the video game, and then there's the arcade. This is a part of a bigger world. So I'm fine with it's a, it's a cinematic universe yeah, or whatever. Like it's a big it's cinematic like universe. It, it, it look, it look, and, it, and as dumb as this whole timeline is, it adds to the universe. I'm fine with this whole storyline actually. It, uh, okay. But you know what I mean. But, but that being said, but that being said, with it being stupid, it's allowed to be stupid and great that it's stupid because this movie has great visuals, great sets, great setup, great acting. Hey D, how's the execution of everything? Shitty. Like I said, Shitty. this movie. Like I said, this movie, this movie is... doesn't even try with D, the right. D, it's it goes. D, it, it goes. Back, it goes back to to exactly what I just said. This is a beautiful turd. It's a gorgeous it 
And this is a gorgeous. And let's get gorgeous. back to this. Stu- uh, the, yeah, the back to the stupid stuff. Um, they say we need to, they need to go contact the ship or whatever. Why don't they use a mountain or whatever? Go climb higher to a place instead of exactly. doing the town here. Um, and well, and not only, it. yeah, I mean they could have, but they didn't. Uh, another thing is that their their captain, their faithful captain with all the faith or whatever, you know, whatever you know, has and all that stuff. Nigga, you can oh. pray. <laughs> one, hold on. You can it's like, it's not that hard. What a wing and a prayer, Jesus. Hey, one Jew on this joke, nobody. <laughs> well, Walter is uh clearly Jewish. I think I don't know. No, Walter is clearly god damn. Fuck. I can't think of no robot. Judeo Christian. I, I can't think of no robot thing. Yeah, I can't. Ah, oh, shit. I was gonna say mother or something like damn, but that's Walter's right. The only time that we actually see, I think Duke brought it up in, in Prometheus, where Walter is actually following the three rules of robots, like an iRobot, robot, pretty much. Oh well, yeah, he is. No, it was D. The, uh, it was D. Uh, oh DC, yeah, DC it. Yeah, yeah, he is following the uh, rules of robotics in this one. Walter actually is because he he cannot number one, and I love how the movie did it. Because they showed him uh, doing it, and he did it by himself. He's like, "Oh, brother, there are symphonies in you, but you can't do it." I bet it is mm-hmm. frustrating. You're allowed to do whatever, but you can't create. He's like, "Yeah, there was a problem with that." I was like, "He's like, I believe it would be." I was like, "This, I love this fucking movie." <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm like, "I love this." It movie. went from, oh, it, I yeah. love that, um, love but, that whole concept. Um, <laughs> So we got that the mountain to the mountain. They didn't go to mountain. So what was the next? And thing? here's more. I mean, the you know the faithful captain, you know, killed the alien, which is nice, but followed the the psychopathic robot to his death, right there <laughs> to the opening egg. Like, oh, let me just see what this is. And what's that? What's that? Died. <laughs> and you know, you had the captain of the ship, the other like pilot, whatever, risking Tennessee. the entire Tennessee, risking the lives of all the colonists, or whatever. Um, to, to Gacy try to save everyone there. Electric Noble, storm, by the way. Because yeah. his dumb ass wife. <laughs> Yo, I hate how this girl had no aim for that thing. But anyway, go ahead, go ahead. Um, something I would like to say about all of these movies in particular is <clears throat> the reason why I say that there is only two alien movies out of all of these movies. There's only two. It's mm-hmm. Alien and Aliens. Mm-hmm. Because number one, Ridley took out, sorry, Ripley took out the Queen. Twice. Well, yeah, once. My bad. I don't know why I said No, twice. no, no. I'm I'm saying I'm saying again. Once. Alien and Aliens. Oh, and Lord. Aliens and yeah, Aliens. Once. She took out the Queen. Yeah. Not only did done. she took hold on. You didn't just take out the Queen. You straight OCV the entire hive. Yeah. Blew it up, torched it, everything. And you deliver probably the most awesome line in all of well in in those two movies, which mm-hmm. is "Get away from her, you bitch." Mm-hmm. That line is etched in cinema history. You you there is no going back. There's <laughs> no, I mean, ladies, gentlemen, we've reached the ceiling <laughs> apex. Oh oh yes, <laughs> we reached and we reached that ceiling, and we will never go back. Yeah. I, oh yeah, I, and I, that's there might be a chance in the in the future, but mm-hmm. as yeah, of right now, we're doing this. We're just <laughs> looking, yeah. I'm just looking up, going, damn. They uh, yeah, and they, then, they, clear, the way, they clearly passed the ceiling of greatness, and I don't even know what the fuck this is. They went down. Exactly. If they're not in greatness, the paraphrase to Randy Orton, you know, uh, appeal thing, like if they're not in greatness though. They're down there <laughs> in hell. In hell. <laughs> that, that's so. Yes, it that. But yeah, Yo, it's a, this movie is rating, just. Oh, by the way, here's more stupidity. Um, they um they pretty much had to um you know they uh they came in they uh they oh they saved the day and they left it uh the the guy with the uh with the acid put some goo on everything is fine, and then they had to chase down the alien which just grew up quickly because we needed a climax to the movie well it was on top of the and, ship that was the promo you remember the promo for the thing was it on top of the ship and it was like oh shit xenomorph alien covenant and it's like oh <laughs> thank you for that. And, like, yeah. I was just, and, and it's just that, that and, and it's just that one <laughs> just one. Yeah, and, i want to fit myself 
You see, Duke, when you're doing this, and look at all the alien movies and how they end it. How did they end? end. They all ended with on the D, 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 it really D, D. Shut up, shut up, shut up. They all ended with the alien on the ship. Arax, foof. That's how it goes. <laughs> That's what uh-huh. D, if, okay, D, I swear to God, if Ridley, if Ridley Scott does a movie and it has a sock puppet, if you don't sue Ridley Scott, yeah. after that, I'm <laughs> sue the living yeah. suck at it. You think I'm not? Ridley Scott, the Ridley Scott <laughs> is a character now on Three Black Geeks. Number one, number one, if he actually did do that in an alien movie and put the freaking sock puppet in there, I'm a <laughs> last. La- <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all, I'm going to be pissed off. But I'm be happy because number one, number one, I'm pissed off that he did it. But at the same time, I'm happy. That means he listens to us. <laughs> <laughs> but good luck getting a white, good, good luck getting an old white guy to say that he listens to something black. That's all but I'm saying. Really <laughs> to you guys, I thought so. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Like Randy 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 Randy. Oh, uh, and then after all that. The twist ending. Oh, was David the entire time? And I'm like, good. I don't care. I know, right? I really was. I was like, that is such a satisfying it. ending. That is such a. You know what? Oh. Hey, no. Yes. Hey, by the way, Hold before on. that, you know the what, alien, you know what it tricked, was? They tricked the alien. Like, uh, when they were like, oh, I got this stuff. They was just like, he's going to get you. And then she just ducked. And then the, uh, the truck came in and just like, you know, oh, it, it, it impelled the alien. I'm like, yeah, because the alien doesn't have great reflexes and could have yeah, you know, dodge or whatever. Can no, I no. can I or can I say uh that ending, uh why I applaud it and why I laugh at it so much is because it's an ending where the villain wins. I mean, we get those and stuff, but this one was just you know, funny because you know how you you're you you're going through a whole horror movie and you hate everybody in it and you're actually rooting for Jason. Imagine if you will at the end of it, Jason's walking down the street, <laughs> trap music starts playing, then it's credits. You're like, yo, because like you'd be happy too. Because it's like, it's like he, this movie wins. Because the movie already you already showed that Walter had no chance against David because it's the difference between a pacifist and a guy that has killer instinct. Walter is not about that killing life. He ain't the fucking missionary from fucking Rambo where he's like, fuck it, rock. And you know, yeah. where where that, at least that Which, missionary's killer instinct kicked in because, hey, dude, I want to go back to fucking Idaho. I don't need this shit. And, you I know, mean, bro. Wait, wait, like, wait. See, so technically, hold on. So technically, on a technicality then, Chris, Brother Rock didn't fail. He did. Yeah, he failed. Wait a minute. I just realized that, yeah, you're right. There might be something that goes off in his mind that's a thing where robots can't harm other robots. Because you remember at the beginning, there they, might be a rule well, because he could, dis- well, well, he could remember- disarm, he could disarm or incapacitate, but he cannot kill. But you remember also too, they said at the beginning that David was an anomaly and Walter was like the man was like basically the mainstream manufactured robot. Yeah. So all of them are pretty much the same, but David was the anomaly that actually went against his programming. Yeah, uh, and Walter, uh, and Walter, and, and Walter yes. only came. Yes. And, and what Walter, writing actually and, worked out and, in the end? And Who Walter, be um, Scott. Like real, co- like real quick, Walter actually uses uh, only the basic form of CQC. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's just and the funny thing. That's why when, when as soon as he sat there, says, "Oh, you could play beautiful music, but you just can't." And I was like, "Oh boy, Walter, you know you did right." Like, so, you do, you do know he is studying you right now. He is downloading. <laughs> he, he thought y'all, he thought y'all were going to team tag team against these humans. And as soon as he saw that, oh, he doesn't kill. Yeah, I can't I'm, use you there, brother. Sorry. The fact that he <laughs> said the, fa- the fact that he said, "No one will ever love you like I do," and went for the kiss. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Walter's I'm like, like, I don't roll that way, sir. We don't do that here. We don't. We don't do that here. I'm looking <laughs> how you folded that nigga, literally. <laughs> oh, he like, gave him the, no. He gave him the Negan by stabbing him in the neck with a freaking flute. It's like a guy. It's like a guy that's gay and he's hitting on a guy that's straight. And the guy straight is like, "Whoa, there, brother! I don't roll that way. What are you doing here, man? I don't know what you thought, but uh, that ain't happening here." You know, it would be great at the end after if I go back on Alien Covenant. It, I mean, I go at the end of this movie. I go at the very, very end of this motherfucker. You go back to the planet. And you see motherfucker Walter walking down there. It is about a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker didn't even kill me. He just gave me a fucking glimp. And that's exactly. it. Exactly. <laughs> and, and then, 
Yeah. Motherfucker gave me the hand that I lost. <laughs> That was cool. That was cool. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, but you know what? But you know, that. the one thing is about this movie though that really, you know, when I saw that really pissed really me off. Well, maybe they're gonna do something with those uh, big albino aliens. When that, when that scene, when they just dumped all of the black goo, I was like, yeah, they didn't want to do anything about the Don't questions. Think. They just say. Don't think. <laughs> They just said it was a middle finger to everything out there that can be. Yeah, it was a weapon. Out. Yeah, it was a weapon. Yeah, let's just go with the weapon. We ain't had yeah, a weapon. weapon. That's that. That's the ticket. So it was a weapon. So the and all those questions. So the engineers. Nothing. They're no not cares. technically the engineers, but they might be. I'm just, you know what, you know what, you know what, you know what. Here, here's here's the weird part. So this came out in 2017, right? Uh, big time for movies and stuff. Uh. It barely beat out Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two, barely. Um, Thirty-six million Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two had thirty-four, so about two million more. But I remember the running, the running box office and stuff, because you know everybody at that still to this day are still about box office numbers. That was lower than what they expected it to be for that, and I was like, yeah, because people really weren't keen on Prometheus, and people saw the jig with this, and it's like, yeah, we're good. It was really weird, and then just completely. Oh, go ahead, D. No, 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 no. It was weird because um it was it was weird because you had a lot of diehards still going for the movie. That was the weird part, Chris. There were still people bat going to bat for this thing. And it's like okay. Sure. <laughs> How's that even possible? And I think that and yeah, and it, 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 it you know, I will. I admit, I agree with Lucas. It did kind of dr- it showed a weakness. What was going on with um, Guardians Two, where it wasn't going to be as strong as it was, but at the same time, it's like, who the all these dogs came up for that movie? Hey, whatever. Who knew, man? I mean, and it's just by the time it got to, the, I think people at- just like Xenomorphs, man. I think they just like. I think they just like the world. You know what I mean? mean? It just it dropped off so bad in the second weekend that Baywatch beat it out, and I'm like, oh yeah. Fuck. Yeah, with the brain, the Rock Johnson beat out. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I honestly, you know, when I saw, I saw that movie. Uh, when the first, I was like, this, this is the end of an Alien franchise, and I'm, I'm like, man, <laughs> after Alien Two, um, they still, they that that was the, like, this was the end from I Alien mean, One and Two to this crap, this like it? Asylum, uh, Asylum film garbage. Did the Asylum yeah, do was- a fucking Alien like? You like, don't want to probably it. parts of it. It's ca- to... it is it is it's, it's, it's crap. It. It's really is crap. This is it's what like, it is. It, it, I, it, this it, is it, a well it, made. It's it's an asylum movie. It makes you run back to this. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> this I'm gonna say this. I'm done dying this hill. This is just a well made, well crafted asylum film. It's like they had all the stuff Fair. here, but really Scott Fair. basically <laughs> just said, "Hey, asylum uh, people who vote for asylum movies, just write this and you know all that type of stuff." Yeah, I mean, that's what it is. That really it, kind of, I, I think at that point, people really kind of looked at Ridley Scott like, dog, your magic is done. It's over. And then he's <laughs> still over. crying about millennials and everything. Well, like else. I said, like, and I'm standing, oh. I'm dying on this hill. It's amazing, Ridley. You kind of, in a way, wrote a bit of the playbook that Marvel uses in their movies. It's kind of ironic that you benefit on the same. And I'm just going to be keep. Let's keep it. I'm keeping it a buck. You benefit on the same audience stupidity that Marvel fans have with you. So that that's where I get defensive in this. I get defensive when people blame millennials for for people not coming out for boring movies. That just happens, though. It's not a big deal, man. You know, there are like, favorite. There are favorite movies that I like. Look, are boring as hell. You know what? Look, I look. I'm gonna say it. I'm going against my color. I'm I'm ready. For that Wes Anderson movie that's about to come out, I ain't spending no money on that shit. No, no, I'm I'm, I'm waiting where I can chill with that joke. I mean, because it's like you anything. It's like anything. Movies, but I mean, it's like anything else. It's like that's why it's like you put out Last Duel, like I said last episode. But then, like, it seems like everybody loves House of Gucci. So it's yeah, like well, so for everything. It's that like, yeah, true. you put out Last Duel, nobody really likes that, that, but you put out House of Gucci and everybody loves it, so clearly you, there's something. You got the benefit of having two movies out at the same time, bro. 
and you over here, you over here mad that you ain't eating everything on the goddamn table. Yes, just, just, that, just shut up. That, 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 that mentality only works in sports and in Monopoly. Stop it. <laughs> it don't work. Stop it, dog. Like, like I, I hate that idea that you have to rock in both sectors, man. It's like this real talk, really. Both one of those movies was going to be good. Only one of these movies is going to be good, not both. You ain't that good, nigga. Come on, man. I can make yeah, uh, you you're acting like he's Disney or something, man. You're not Disney. You're Ridley Scott, and you only got one trick runners. That's pretty much what you got. Your best hits are in the 90s. And it's funny. Get over it, man. Hey, here's, the, here's, the sick, saying, here's, here's the hilarious part, right? So Disney bought Fox, right? Now, with that happening, Disney was like, hey, they were going to try to continue the Alien franchise. They just don't know what that looks like. I remember as soon as that happened, it was at CinemaCon. A month later, they came out and was like, I think it was it was either Variety or um or another outlet. They were like, hey, you know, they're running around sequel scripts and stuff with Ridley Scott to see which one he wants to go through. Then last year, Ridley was like, Yeah, they're doing another alien film. It's in development. We're still trying to figure out to skip yada yada yada. Three months ago, they was like, Yeah, um, I don't think we're going to do that sequel to that movie. Oh, no. They are not going <laughs> to no I'm sequels. sure this is going to relook at this thing. Because you got to remember, Fox is still making movies on their own. They're still a separate division from Disney. So, they're, so they can still kind of do on their own shit. You know what I mean? New fucking t-shirts. So yeah. we'll, we'll see what happens, man. Yeah. So, I mean. Oh, yeah. yeah. But that's what it is. That's what it all is. And uh, until, until they actually do something, I mean. At this point, it's going to be a uh, they're going to do a Biden numbers prequel or something again, and probably just <laughs> if they do a Biden numbers prequel, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised that they're going to have David show up and and then get him killed off or something in embarrassing fashion. I bet they're Which going to do some weird thing where we get our to time travel. Him. They might do <clears throat> that. I got Bruh. to in the rise of whaling. <laughs> Minus the Utani. <laughs> oh. Actually, and minus Walmart, and minus Walmart, by the way. That's the storyline I want to know. Well, how what's up with you, Tani? Who's you, Tani? Oh, you I, remember? Oh, oh guys, oh guys, you remember <laughs> AVP Requiem? Hello, Miss Utani. I have this predator gun. You want to check it out? We both know this is not from uh space and such like that. Uh, I saw that and uh, I was like, get the fuck out of here. Really, movie? I got really? so Whaling Yutani mm-hmm. is in is investing in a uh, predator tech. Exactly. Well, I, was like, I would uh, take I honestly I would take that over what the hell the predator was. Can someone tell me what was that is that is actually legitimately they legitimately weaponize autism. I that was the whole movie. That that was Shane Black being lazy, Duke. You know that, right? <laughs> Oh goodness gracious! <laughs> but anyways, oh, folks, man. um, that, that was the a, movie. This alien is it. franchise. It's, Don't it's... watch Alien Covenant unless you want to rip the hell out of it. Because See, this is why I told movie. D I did not want to go in chronological order of <laughs> Prometheus, the Alien Covenant, did Alien because it's like no, you have to see the descent of the franchise. I don't know. Think about it. If we went through Prometheus first, then did this, and then did Alien. Think about after this shit. To go into Alien, it'll be just hold the things <laughs> off. You know what I mean? Just, oh. oh yes, and then but the problem is, then you're like, oh gosh, the prequels, and it just would have ruined it. It would have ruined like like all the stupidity from that movie actually taints the eight, the first movie. You're like, oh no, you know, oh, no. oh, God, no. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? The space jockeys, all this stuff, and everything was answered. I'm like, man. Technology really gets old as shit for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, why is he running a Betamax? This is weird. <laughs> loud, loud keyboard types. I think that's the, also the other thing when we talk about like these movies and stuff. When you do prequels, you have to kind of go into the whole technology and stuff because that's always been my issue when they do prequels and stuff. Um, which is why I'm glad when they did the, the 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 Blade Runner movie, it was an actual sequel because that future matched up to what we think of the future now and the tw- you know right now, and it worked for that. And it just seems like when you do a prequel to that with Alien Covenant, it's like, but this tech looks so like 
clean futuristic yeah. compared to the yeah. alien and aliens and it's yeah. just a- alien and aliens are a used future that was the that's issue. what it really yeah, yeah exactly you know, i was saying to myself well granted maybe you know they was on a freighter i was like bullshit freighter that's a tr- that's a trillion dollar spaceship they own it'll be clean yeah exactly they ain't gonna mess around with that Maybe. but the problem is the the crew what they brought in they messed it up itself you know yeah. you know they messed like, up the whole thing that crap. but anyway yeah. so dude thank you so much bro no thank problem you. man i had nothing else to do <laughs> uh oh man we will see you next year bro i don't know like i'm gonna get you on the episode next year i don't know what it's gonna be man but like i said thank you so much for always showing up for franchise month no problem that. man no yeah yeah so uh like i said we're gonna take a break next time you see us we're gonna be in new york with a little white kid it's gonna be all legal it's sometimes it's somehow <laughs> too like bad to back. how did the niggas get out of jail because well, because yes. damn, it, damn it d you missed it <laughs> so what did you say you said do it all you said do it all legal like Bugsy siegel <laughs> oh that's hilarious well anyway i think this was a way we could end it right now that's Let's the perfect way to end it. Peace. Peace. peace we done